Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. We now have the engine completely disassembled and we've been measuring the clearances particularly of the crankshaft on the dry on the timing side of the engine and the clearances for location into the timing cover and the timing side case. Uh, I'm not sure you can see quite that clearly on this diagram but let's have a look. So on the end of the crankshaft here is a thread onto which the worm drive for the oil pump is screwed and that thread needs to come in by 60 thou. So we need to take 60 thou off the bottom of the thread because the worm drive was crashing into the uh, timing cover. It also means that we need to take 60 thou off the shoulder that it comes down onto. So 60 thou off the thread, 60 thou off the shoulder. That's drawn on the diagram here. We need to take 0.1 off the very, very end of the crankshaft so we can fit the orifice plate. Otherwise, too much oil from the pump is going to pour down here and into the main bearing. And not enough is going to come past the pressure relief valve to the plane bearing on the sleeve drive itself. And we also need to thin down um, this shoulder on the crank here because the L-shaped plate wasn't touching the bearing. So um, that, that's the final job. Now, all of this means that the crankshaft needs to be turned down on the lathe and the crankshaft is pressed into the flywheels and everything else. So we've had to mount the crankshaft into the lathe the entire assembly there it is into the lathe so we put a, a fixed steady on this end there is a pipe cleaner down the end of the oil way so that it doesn't fill up with swarf and we'll take those we take uh, 0.1 off there we'll take uh, 60 thou off there we take 60 thou off there and we take 0.15 off that shoulder there so that's the next job we've got the tool set up to do that um, it looks a bit of a beast when it's in back gear and it's all clunking around and obviously because the, the um, we can't take the conrod off without un, uh, pressing the wheels apart so we've got the conrod with some super secure bungees up to the roof so that it doesn't flail around and it works quite well. There is a short video on the channel of this last time we had it set up just a bit clanking around so that's the next job that we've got in, in situ. Once we've done that we'll be able to think about final assembly, lock tighting the bearings because our list of jobs is uh, we're starting to cross the jobs off the list uh, and when this list is all crossed out we shall be ready to start so that's the latest update from project hercules thanks for watching as always and more updates will follow